Hunter x Hunter episode 114, Divide X and X Conquer. It's funny because it's almost exactly the same as My Hero Academia, the most recent episode. Division, another peaceful and subdued opening. I wasn't expecting Shu to go up against a Royal Guard. Holding his own at least. So, so far. How though? Imagine holding your breath in a situation like this. And yeah, if I was Knuckle, I'd be overwhelmed too. I, I'm so curious in this, about this power, this ability. It's a really cool setup too, because Moral's two for two. But this is not Chidu, or whatever the lion's name was. Hagia. Okay, so we caught up. Going just in a, in a zone. And the wonder didn't notice Clue's absence, maybe. He's just locked in. That is the king, yeah. That little dude over there with the cool hat. There's a lot I relate to in these shows. One of them is not watching as my grandfather <laughs> fights an ant king. Imagine watching your grandfather engage in a life or death battle to save the world. I mean, it's already alarming. This is also alarming because you might be watching your family get annihilated. That's him. With his back turned. Oh, there's just so many ways the, the wind is just gone from their sails. If you think you have a trump card over someone, you think you have leverage over someone, you think you have power over someone, and they're like, do it, do your worst. Hard not to think twice. And they have no reason to suspect a bluff. I mean, it's very Gunji like He's become Kamugi in the sense that he cannot be threatened. Just energetically, he feels like they, they've entered his world, his game. Why does this feel embarrassing? Why does it feel like they've already lost? When you ride a dragon with your enemy to the fight location. Imagine watching your grandfather ride a dragon <laughs> to a fight location with an ant king. Gonja shook that whole incident right off. There's a lot behind this. It's a long time coming. Is this what I think it is? This is a little bit of a loss of faith. It's like it's so cool to think about the characters and events of this part of the arc compared to that one episode where Gon and Kalua played that game of tag or whatever with Netero. All of that with Kalua came to a head and more. His giving up on an unwinnable fight, leaving Gon to Netero, Gon not willing to relent, staying there alone. One thing I had wrong was I had Kalua pegged as the, the dangerous one, the bossy one, the one that would lead Gon into trouble. It was the reverse. The Kalua, like, he may not have been ready to process the decision of does he want to follow or not until he was able to follow. Now he's done all this work and he can be there for Gon. He can fight to the death and sacrifice his life for Gon. Now that he can, is Gon giving him the same sort of regard? Is Kalua even in the room? Right now, I mean, he just acknowledged him verbally, but maybe it stacks up his hands during during dodgeball. A general lack of regard for other people in situations. I know this is not how a lot of people feel, but I still think Kalua should have been the one to be healed first in the Green Island arc, whether or not they previously agreed to it. But focus on Gon and their friendship that Kalua wanted to believe in has taken him this far and forced him to do all this hard work. What is he without it? I have noticed at times that sometimes reasoning follows the form of, I don't like what this would mean, so it can't be true. But I think truth value is not determined by whether or not the consequences of that truth are palatable to you. It would hurt real bad to distance. Oh good. G2 to Broobuda datta. Great. Oh, flutter, jan. Yes, hello. I am Flutter. Flutter here. Pitodo no no en ga mata kiechimatta shi. Watashi mo modotte kita bakari na no de. From fluttering. Tanusto. I give Chido credit for something. He's got a positive spirit. Ja, watashi wa kore de. I got flutter duties to attend to. <laughs> Awkward. Said too much. Could have just said orders. Oh, yes. Weirdly, I feel like this is one of the best things that could have happened to Poof. Why, you can quantify that? 
スピリチュアルメッセージは相手の周囲をリンプンで覆いオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの流れを知っていまのでオーラの Oh, wait, what is happening? That's a cocoon. It, it, weird, it's like reverse metamorphosis. Is he gonna become a caterpillar? You don't have to wait, by the way, but no, you can wait. Uh oh. It would be sort of ironic if Moro loses to the, the very thing he's so expertly set up for so many other people. You know, like this might be a misdirect, it might be a gamut he's not expecting. Remember the good old days? You can only dodge this for so long. You gotta do something. But he looks hella cool doing it. Oh no, his, his eye patch. Take your eye. Did you take his eye? Yeah, he's got a lot of them. You'd be still really pissed. One of my 40,000 eyes. Loyal servant. That's true, I wasn't thinking about that. Victory here isn't necessarily even beating Yuppie. Yeah, it is demoralizing. Yeah, one touch undoes everything. Oh, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. How long are you gonna wait? He's gonna watch shoot die? I think you have to make a decision one way or the other. Maybe that's what this is. Sure seems a lot slower than when Gon had it. Wow, that's why. We're not seeing it in real time. Oh yeah, time is absolute but also relative. I mean, I can't blame you. Just go for it. A terrible idea, but go for it. He's panicking. Yeah, yeah. How do you hold your breath in this situation? Oh no! Oh. Yeah, that range attack. It's the worst possible matchup. That was. A, oh god, that's that sucks. That's not how you want to lose. This was like one of those boss fights where you have like the faintest glimmer that you can win, but the way the battle transpires, it's so gradual towards the outcome. It takes forever that you don't want to give up on it, but you have this sinking feeling like it's inevitable, like you've already lost. And you wonder if you shouldn't just abandon the whole thing. <sighs> This also highly, highly dangerous. Even the split second, you noticed it. All this happening on, in under 10 seconds as well. It's time, it's time, it's time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's about to unleash something. Oh no, Get everyone leave, everyone leave. Get out now. It's gonna fire, yeah, yeah. Okay. How many more of this, those does he have? That's what I'm saying, yeah, it's a gradual, gradual, very slow loss. ごさんがあるとすれば、シュートがそれでいいと思い、それにユピーが気づいていないことだろう。I don't like this. This is the moment of impact. He just, he's already been hit, hasn't he? Okay, all right. 
He's taking a lot of damage. Knuckle. It's gotta be Knuckle. Knuckle just going in fully visible. This feels better. It wasn't the plan. I can't hate it though. No more hiding. Gon inspiring shoot inspiring Knuckle. Who inspired Gon? Why did, I, I don't know, why is this so satisfying? I like it so much better than the admittedly great plan. It just wasn't working. 10 seconds seems like a very short interval under normal circumstances. Then you realize the whole episode is basically 10 seconds, apparently. It didn't even roll over the second time. There's something really cool and powerful about the acceptance. I mean, shoot did it first. It's like, this is what it is, this is what I am, this is how I want to do it, I might die. There's so much more palpable glory in that. It also seems very Knuckle, that what activates him to another level is his desire to care for others. Someone like Knuckle, you're not going to sit around watching shoot get torn to shreds while you stick to the plan. It would be the most satisfying thing for me, honestly, if Knuckle just destroys Yubi with Shoot's help. I'm really curious if there's something here or, or some preview, some hint or foreshadowing about Gon and Kalua, because it does seem like there's a pair up type-wise with Gon and Knuckle and Kalua and Shoot. You know, Kalua and Shoot both being a little bit reluctant to jump into dangerous things. Gon and Knuckle very emotionally charged. They might be, in a sense be visions of their potential, like Shoot able to overcome his fear and sort of enter that state of total duty and service giving. Knuckle having this sort of raw emotional power, but channeling it a little bit more constructively like for others, there's like a cause there. Feels more like there's a, there's a consistent ethos behind it. Maybe we'll see Knuckle and Shoot followed shortly by Kalua and Gon. It'll be interesting to see if there's anything there.